I'm telling you, Tucker, I know what I saw. There was a fifth crate, and we missed it. And that merc you hired got to it. You made that deal too quick. What the fuck do you know anyway, Eddie? What do you know about sealing deals, making things happen? We've got our hands on all four cases. Who cares about a couple of pistols? Look, guys, it'll be enough. It's a haul. Not enough for our client, maybe. It's a haul. For five chips, it's the best one we've brought home this month. You let her push you, Tucker. You should have secured the pistols in the deal. Yeah, he's right. If they were in that other crate, well, we should have had a better look at the footage before meeting your merc. Not a good look. <laughs> Would you listen to this? A couple of Judases. Lighten up. We can make this work still. I'm just saying that if it weren't for our client looking for those pistols, we wouldn't have known to even try and piggyback this little heist. He wanted the scar, sure, but he led you sideways. It's always in the eyes, Tucker. That look said he wanted the pistols as much as he wanted the entire haul. Fuck, you're... you're right. He said they were collector's pieces, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he did. And why would he even have mentioned them if they weren't a big deal? If he'd wanted to get his hands on some Capricorn shite, he'd have just went and bought from the cops, right? Rich old blood like him, he could buy from anyone. But he was dealing us as hard as we were dealing him. I did it, Eddie. Are you talking to me right now like I can't read the writing on the goddamn wall? He was trying to get us to throw them in like they were extra. They were the old man's target from the start. Clever. Real clever. We can still make something happen from this, though. Yeah? Oh. How's that gonna play out? You just sit back and watch, all right? Actually, no. I want you two the fuck out of here. Just get out. I don't have patience left in my entire body to deal with that stupid look on your face anymore, Joe. Hey, hey, hey. Tucker, he didn't mean anything by it. I'll make a new deal, all right? She's just a merc. I'll get the guns. Then we'll have the hall and the showpieces. Now both of you get gone. You're useless to me. Can't even pass his muscles, so might as well not be here. You honestly don't think you need our help? Think? I know it. If you two were any good, you'd have closed a deal with the Troka. Given them some shiny rocks or something. Now I've got to cash five chips out to a merc. Maybe more. Yeah, I guess you do. Come on, Joe. You heard the man? He's got this. You have a good night, Tucker. Have a drink on me. Episode 3, Between the Waves, coming soon.